welcome all. Today, uh, from Dwellings Group, we decided to convene uh, industry experts to discuss about uh, property related issues uh, which are related to COVID 19 and post COVID 19 financial related matters. To go through this, uh, this session, we have uh, industry experts here. I would like to introduce Kenny Yap, uh, who is the principal uh, solicitor from Lincoln Lawyers, uh, Aibu Anankan. And then also we have director from Dwellings Group, Thikshan Asolbaratna, Aibu And uh, I'll, I'll start the discussion uh, with uh, Lin, uh, the Kenny. Uh, Kenny, the, 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 we uh, been helping our, our clients in sales, property management, settlements, and a lot of property related investments but uh, with the COVID-19 there are a lot of uh, situations where people paid deposits maybe you know one year ago six months ago but now it has come to the settlement time but due to the current financial matters they couldn't settle or either banks not lending or uh, they had uh, their financial situation change so now they cannot settle but the vendors keep demanding to settle and threatening for freezing their deposits what are the the way out the possibilities and legitimate uh, way out to get out of this situation and move forward in a situation like that Right. Um, the, the first is um, to uh, explore the contract, to review the contracts uh, uh, to see if there were any uh, avenues or, or um, uh, exposures which uh, the, the, the vendor may have yeah. so that, you know, uh, you, you can, with that you, you can perhaps leverage yes. and negotiate a, a truce whereby you can get more time. Yeah. Most of the vendors uh, willingly giving more time to settlements, right? Because if you requested with the valid reasons why you can't settle, right? Mm. Yes, um, most developers would at this point um, uh, allow more time, not all, but yeah. uh, I think communicating with them, keeping yeah. close communication uh, rather than being, being segregated from them would help. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we act for both uh, developers and also purchases in, in different uh, projects. Yeah. And uh, most developers would, would try to uh, give extensions where they can yeah. and uh, uh, they, they rather uh, have a settlement and, and, and be able to collect the full purchase sums rather than keep the deposit, you know, right. or forfeit the deposit. Yeah. But I, but yeah, yeah I think Kenny now the if, if it is a executed contract and uh, most probably they have to settle, but if there's a issue that they cannot settle, there's one way that you can nominate that to someone else. Yes, um, if if you can find an alternative buyer, yeah. and 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 uh, then uh, you 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 can have a you can carry out a nomination. And in this situation, finding nomination buyers also uh, a hard. difficult situation sometimes because you know uh, uh, people don't have uh, financial capability sometimes. But at the same time, with our experience with our clients, uh, Thikshan and Kenny, now there are some people looking to, to buy in this situation, looking for bargains, right? right? And s if someone have liquid cash, not relying on banks, and I think it's the best time to bargain and get into the property market as well. That's because right. Because in the property cycle, this is the rock bottom it can be. Um, and it, it, you know, it's going to start the cycle where then it, it is a best position if you can invest now. But the problem is whether you have the required funding for that. And if someone already committed to a contract and can't settle, then one of the best options is to try to nominate to someone. That's right. Um, the values um, of various properties, uh, especially landed ones, have gone up. Yeah. Uh, but uh, by the same token, some purchasers still can't settle. So for um, uh, intending uh, investors, uh, this might lend a great opportunity to them. Correct. And let's say absolute worst case scenario, you can't settle, you don't have money. And then you can ask for an extension. And in your experience, and I know we've been settling a lot of properties with you in recent mm. years, uh, you can ask for a first extension, second extension, and then it goes to a, a recursion notice and stuff, stuff like that. What is the process? And then w what sort of end timeline that the clients entirely have to complete that uh, transaction? Right. Uh, a lot depends on uh, each developer and the position they take. Um, uh, at some point, they would not be able to wait any longer. Yeah. But um, the, the best 
process would be to communicate with them, um, show them what uh, you are doing to, to, to try to settle, and, and, uh, and that, that would probably give you the, the, the best uh, uh, time options to, to find alternatives. Uh, subs you know, in between, that, there could be alternative finance, yeah. uh, and also you, know, you will have more time to find a, a nominee buyer uh, in, 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 yeah. in, in that situation. Now, we, I've <coughs> been actually helping a client who have been the same exact situation. Now, what we can do, try to find a nomination by uh, who can, you know, happy to take over that responsibility. At the same time, when the banks are not lending, major banks, there are some private lenders are willing to lend, obviously, will be at a bit of a higher percentage of interest. But if you look at the short term, you can settle that way you can save your deposit, the 10% or 5%, and then uh, keep it for a short time and then put the property back on the market and uh, trying to, to to sell that and then recover it. That's also uh, I mean alternative mm -hmm. ways. We've been looking at these kind of alternative ways to help our clients. You know, this is a common problem, not from people who purchase from overseas, even within the country, this, there are people who are going through this kind of situation. But at the ti same time, um, on the other hand, there is a market building up as well. And uh, now, this is all depending on how, uh, how important is uh, our economic uh, outlook as well. If, if the economy is continue to be deteriorating, then it's going to be a problem. But we are not in that kind of a situation compared to Australian economy. I want to point to Thikshana. Now, uh, everyone is saying recession, recession. Now, uh, let's, let's, let's explain what is a recession, recession is and then what uh, you know, we can do to get out of this and what are the smart things to do in a recession time period. Yes, yeah, Sanjay. Now, uh, if any country is experiencing, ex experiencing um, negative growth in two consecutive uh, quarters, that is declared as uh, officially declared as a uh, recession. recession. Now, that but means we, we are not officially no, in a recession. No, we are not in a recession, but even in 2010, 2011 time period when all the other countries are um, uh, in a recession, we had that fear, but we were not in a recession even that time. Yeah, in 2008. Uh, 2000, 10 time. yeah, 10 time period. And, um, but, you know, uh, that fear uh, directly impacts it the property the market. market. Yes. And a uh, lot of properties are coming into the market and it's a bias market and property prices are at the rock bottom. So as you said before, if someone has liquid cash, it's a best time to, you know, uh, get a good deal. Because uh, we are at the bottom of the property market. Exactly. And then what can happen next is to slowly, slowly start to grow exactly, up. Exactly. That's yeah. where you try to, you know, to get your benefits out of that uh, mm -hmm. time period. But uh, but we need to focus on the current situation. People yeah. having issues with the current situation. Let's look at the, the way out. I think one of the important thing is every dollar counts in this kind of situation. So if you can bargain and if you can look for better options. Even if you have an investment property rented out, you should look for uh, better property management uh, options. You know, some agents charging different different fees and you should look for what other agents offering and then we can switch and save some money in, in terms of uh, your investment property and then it has equity building up. Then later on you can use it to uh, shopping to another property or use it for something else. In the economic uh, situation, Thikshan and now. Australian economy is purely based on uh, agriculture, exports, um, natural resources, minerals, and um, because of that, and then the uh, international students, uh, universities, because of that, I think uh, in a recession time, every government, every other government countries would pump money to increase the production, uh, infrastructure development, manufacturing, all these things would need uh, natural resources and that is a silver line for Australian economy. That's why I think a lot of economists predicting that we are in a better position compared to the rest of the world because, you know, Australia yeah. is uh, full of natural resources. Yeah, now, now China, China, is, of, you know, top China is getting that. recovered and Australia is getting recovered. So mainly Australia is exporting to China, even, you know, natural resources, livestock. Yeah. So um, this will bounce back soon. Yes. But uh, it's just a matter of, you know, this passing this time period and Correct. and Australia has actually fared very well so far in in terms of uh, uh, preventing the spread of the COVID-19. That is a very <coughs> good plus point in, in if someone is worried about our economy 
the the country is one of the i think between top 5 countries in the world who manage the covid-19 situation yeah. uh, effectively and carefully so uh, it is a plus point and it actually creates the the confidence among the outside investors as well as investors within the within the country and now i think we are uh, in couple of weeks time there there are discussions to open up domestic travel and also travel between australia and new zealand yeah. which itself going to create economy in the travel economy and as well as business economy which is helping the uh, immediate help to the economy as well which is good uh, the job keeper um uh, program um you know is there to uh, assist um, australian businesses uh, remain intact yes so that that <coughs> that's a good point can you know australian government is giving a, a payment called job keeper to employees to keep their employees in, in, uh, without uh, laying off that will reduce the the redundancies and that will reduce the unemployment rate which is a very good point and then if a uh, company is having the government help to go through that time period that is directly impacting to the to the economy to be bounced back which is a good thing and also there's a job seeker program as well for yes, people right. who lost their jobs which gave them a payment to go out and then look for you know uh, the opportunities and then getting ready to the next job uh, in that case which is also a good point um, all these points actually I- it's giving a, a green light to the australian economy property and investments but if uh, immediate market if you are having issues there are there are ways to get out of that as well and uh, can you now the legal if some let's say if these issues go into a the the last stages where it needs to go to a legal battle level whether customers can challenge because it's it's a glo- global pandemic and it's not their personal situation change it is a global situation change where they couldn't settle the properties which is you know there should be some sort of a relief due to the global situation uh, well um uh, that has been uh, uh, discussed before and uh, explored by uh, many law firms um because uh, the, the the history of this situation is is still uh, very young uh it hasn't been um uh, finalized but uh, many law firms are exploring that for their clients and we will see soon like a class action against that okay which is good i mean good news as soon as <coughs> outcome of that uh, come up then you know we will be sharing with our clients uh, this is an interesting topic and it's very demanding but unfortunately we have limited time today um so we'll have to wrap up but uh, if any of you have a personal uh, related issues personalized to your situation uh, just uh, contact us our details are in our website dwellingsgroup.com.au and we can we are more than happy to help you out and uh, thank you for being with us and we will come back with another another episode to discuss about more property migration uh, legal related matters thank you